Yes, you guessed it. Rain. I believe someone somewhere has a voodoo doll designed to torture me with a shower hose permanently over it. They believe I'm in pain, but I secretly love the heavy rain. So, a lot of the projects I hope to be working on over the last few months have not gone according to plan. I thought maybe I was just being lazy. Perhaps I needed time to settle and readjust. After all, I just moved to a new part of the world. I have a tendency to beat myself up when things don't go according to plan. It's a habit I'm trying to rid myself of, but it's one that seems to stick nonetheless. One of my big spring slash summer projects whilst in Budapest was to fix and restore my two writing slopes. To be honest, not much restoration is required as I like to keep things fairly original and simple. I like the antique look and feel to things, however, the leather does need replacing on both. The hinges need sorting, the brass bits need polishing. I decided to leave the wood cracked as it is, as that gives it an old and dignified air. So for now, rather than using my writing slopes as they were intended, I choose to spend an adequate amount of time with them and simply perch my ink bottles and papers on top of them, knowing the work will finally be completed in the autumn. Many other projects have also been cast aside. I was supposed to have completed several journals which make lovely gifts to friends in the festive season, but nothing has come from my grand plans. A stack of books I carried across Europe with me are still stacked in a neat corner and remain unread and unopened. The new series I planned out a few years ago and hoped to start writing this summer remain shelved. The plot and paperwork slowly changing colour with the seasons as I'm still working on book two of my Heathen series. So all my plans have been laid to waste, or have they? Is that the right way to think about it all? In the last few years, in my quest to achieve my various goals, I have always set tasks for myself, none so impossible or difficult, but I've always had lofty goals. I've always worked very hard and diligently at achieving them, usually at great cost to my mental health. So although much was achieved, I could never see it, because by the end I was so browbeaten and burnt out. As my initial three months here comes to an end, I realise that I may not have achieved everything in the time frame I set out. However, my time here wasn't just about goals, finishing book series and completing my writing projects. It was about putting myself in uncomfortable situations where I had to rediscover myself who I was, what I was really capable of. Just a few years ago, I was fearless, an absolutely unstoppable person. Then bereavement, depression and life crept in and I found myself spiraling. I believed the last two years and the troubles have put a nail in the coffin of who I used to be. I'm glad that's not the case. In the last few months, I've moved across a continent made amazing new friends and created new experiences for myself and my dogs. It's been wonderful and I hope to have many more experiences. So yes, I haven't quite ticked all my to-dos off my list, but I've restored my sanity and that can only help my writing and productivity, I think.